World chess champion Magnus Carlsen has published his official statement on the recent Carlsen, Neiman controversy and accused Hans Neiman of cheating more than the 19-year-old American admitted publicly. He added that he believes chess organizers and all those who care about the sanctity of the game we love should seriously consider increasing security measures and methods of cheat detection for over-the-board chess, causing reactions all around the world. Mr. Beast commented, they should do a TSA body scan before a match to check for anal beads. XQC said, he cheated. Believe me. Let me cause irreparable damage because I want to. Agadmata said, organizers will now have to choose between inviting Magnus or Hans to events. Hans might as well just played his last invitational tournament. Hikaru Nakamura has joined a chorus of top grandmasters expressing support for Magnus Carlsen after his bombshell statement that directly accused Hans Neiman of cheating. It's extremely clear from this letter that Magnus has something, who knows what he has, but in order for him to release it I am guessing Hans has to say I won't sue you or do anything of that nature, Nakamura said on his stream. Carlsen published a statement where he, for the first time, revealed his reasons for withdrawing from the Sinclairfield Cup, and then his shock resignation against 19-year-old Hans Neiman. What became clear is that he thinks the American teenager is cheating. I believe that Neiman has cheated more, and more recently, than he has publicly admitted, the world champion said. While not offering any concrete evidence, Carlson called Neiman's rise unusual and said he had the impression that he wasn't tense or even fully concentrated on the game in critical positions during their game in St. Louis. Carlson ended the letter with, I hope that the truth on this matter comes out, whatever it may be. Nakamura has talked extensively about the cheating scandal that has shocked the chess world on his popular stream. He has previously revealed he was aware of rumors circulating around Neiman for some time, Going through several of Neiman's games, he offered his support. He called Carlson's statement very, very strong. It feels like the ball is very clearly in Hans' court now. He has two people who are basically saying you gotta say stuff without legal repercussions. It's very clear. Nakamura refers to a part in Carlson's statement where he says there are limits to what he can say, without explicit permission from Neiman to speak openly. What will Hans do here, is the big question, he added. If Hans is not saying anything, I think that looks very suspicious. If Hans is truly innocent in all of this, Hans should basically come out and say show me what you have, and that's the end of the story. If Hans doesn't give permission, I think it's very clear, isn't it? If Hans doesn't say something, it feels to me that he must be admitting something. It has to be the case. There is no other answer to it. Nakamura is not the only top player who has supported Carlson's allegations. World Championship challenger GM Ian Nepomniachtchi spoke about having suspected Neiman of cheating due to his extraordinary rise. Since Carlson's statement, several other grandmasters have come out in support. One tweet came from French grandmaster and managing editor of Thinkers Publishing Roman Eduard, who lashed out at US grandmaster Ben Feingold for calling Carlson a crybaby, saying the Norwegian has done everything right so far. GM Roman Eduard said, Imho Magnus Carlsen has done everything right so far, and with class. The argument that he is a crybaby is absurd, he has never been one. He hates losing but never blamed anyone but himself. It's also clear that the SDL game was just the cherry on the cake. Come on, wake up. Indian Grandmaster R.B. Ramesh, one of the world's leading chess coaches, published a long thread on Twitter saying he supports Carlsen's principled stand against cheating, urging chess organizers to increase security measures. GMRB Ramesh tweeted. 1. Immense respect for the world champion for taking a principled stand on an important issue, forcing the world to pay attention to it at a huge personal cost. Ideally, the chess world and fighty should have devised a good practical solution to the cheating problem years ago. 2. Hopefully, a full inquiry will be conducted by FIDE and steps taken to avoid a similar scenario in future. A reasonably strong player does not need external help throughout the game, indication at a few, even one, critical moments is sufficient to tilt the game in his favor. 3. I don't believe that percent of moves matching with an engine is the only way to prove a player has taken external help. By default, all major chess events should have basic protocols in place, a, physically prevent gadgets, plastic slash electrical slash from entering the venue 4 b jamming signals into the playing hall c delay live relay d 
Spectators should not carry gadgets into the venue etc. In India, there was a similar instance more than 10 to 15 years ago. Punitive action was taken much delayed despite players raising concerns. 5. Of course, it is very easy to cast apprehensions on a player's integrity by throwing unsubstantiated allegations. It has happened in the past. Innocent players were accused unfairly. So the accuser should be very responsible before making the accusation. 6. The best solution is prevention, as obtaining proof is almost next to impossible if the help was taken only once or twice in a game. A strong player can judge opponent's analytical capabilities. At the lower level, it is most difficult. 7. I trust the world champion's instinct in this instance. Even if the cheating has happened in the past, that is sufficient ground to avoid playing against that particular player. The best proof will be the player's results in the next year, under public scrutiny. End. Fellow Indian Srinath Narayanan said he has enormous respect for Carlson after the announcement, and talks about how cheating has become a serious problem in the chess world. GM Srinath Narayanan said, first up, enormous respect to Magnus. We all knew cheating was a serious problem. We all knew it was rampant. We all kept quiet, not knowing exactly how to go about it. Magnus spoke about it and in a way that the world had no option but to take notice. The action spoke loud. US Grandmaster Andrew Tang made a similar point, saying Carlson deserves credit. GM Andrew Tang said, give Magnus credit for having the balls to talk about an issue the chess community wanted to pretend doesn't exist. The Bullet Star added in a follow-up tweet. BTW it is possible to give Hans the benefit of the doubt OTB while not enough evidence is presented. While understanding that Magnus is not an idiot, or a sore loser like many armchair psychologists would like you to believe. Other grandmasters have been more critical. Morris Ashley said many questions are still hanging in the air, saying it was a sad time for chess. GM Morris Ashley commented, Magnus finally states he believes Hans has cheated, but there are many questions still hanging in the air. It's mystifying why he needs Hans to give him permission to say more after dropping bombs on the young man's head. Will the full truth ever come out? Sad time for chess. The popular British chess commentator Daniel King, in an Ask Me Anything session on Chess 24, was critical of Carlson for making the accusations without providing evidence. GM Daniel King commented, My feeling is that any judgment should be based on evidence. And so far, we haven't been shown any evidence. I dislike the way Magnus just dropped insinuations without providing evidence. Fighty General Director Emil Sudovsky also pointed out that while Carlsen has received more support among Grandmasters, procedures need to be followed. GM Emil Sudovsky said, Last week vast majority, Magnus can't act like that. This week, kudos to Magnus. In fact, little has changed. We need to follow procedures. Also we need a social contract, agreeing that cheating, in particular online, will often remain in the grey zone. Fighty to navigate smartly. Hans Neiman has yet to respond to Carlson's statement. He has previously admitted to cheating on two occasions online but denied having ever used assistance over the board. Fighty has released a statement expressing mild criticism of the world champion's actions, saying, We strongly believe that there were better ways to handle this situation. The statement, signed by Fighty President Arkady Dvorkovich, added that it is, Fighty's, duty to protect the integrity of the game and its image and suggested referring the case to Fidey's Fair Play Commission for further investigation. Fidey is prepared to task its Fair Play Commission with a thorough investigation of the incident when the adequate initial proof is provided, and all parties involved to disclose the information at their disposal. We are fully aware that, in some cases, uncertainty can harm players' performance. It also can be damaging to a player's reputation, that's why we insist on the anti-cheating protocols to be followed. What do you think of these reactions? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.